Welcome everyone to the session where we are going to be discussing uh, the health uh, insurance and also some of the mental health support we provide at Alpha College. I'm really glad that I have you guys here today so we can have like this conversation and talk about what Alpha College offers to you. So I just wanted to share my screen with you quickly to show you a little bit of what we will be discussing today. So today we will be covering a little bit of the academic advising, what Alpha College offers to students in terms of academic advising. We also will be talking with our student counselor Prakash and he will be telling you guys how to access the student counseling services we have at Alpha College. And finally, we have also Stephanie here from the, from the health insurance company. So we'll be discussing the health insurance, how the students can access the health insurance that they have access, and also the mental health support that we offer here at Alpha College. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to post your questions on the chat. We will have also time for questions at the end. So for anything that you'd like to share with us, feel free to post on the chat. So to start with, I'll invite now Prakash um, to say hi to everyone. Hello, Prakash, how are you? Hi, everyone. Um, my name is Prakash. I'm a student counselor and recruiter at Alpha College. So I'll be presenting about counseling and after Davi. So I'm good, Davi. Good yeah. to have you all, guys. That's great, Prakash. So for those who don't know, like Prakash is always here at the college. Monday to Friday, he is available for you guys in the second floor. He's going to share with you guys how you guys can access his counseling services. So he's a very friendly guy. Everyone loves him. So if you want to come say hi to him, and if you have anything that you would like to discuss with him, he's open to do that. Okay, so Prakash, if you would like to share your screen now and discuss with the students how they can uh, reach out oh, yeah. to you. Feel yeah, free yeah. To that now. yeah, 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 sure. Okay. Um... I'll share my screen, so just give me. So Davi, you can see this, right? <laughs> okay, uh, again, hello everyone. And uh, as I already said, like my name is Prakas and I'm a student counselor and recruiter here. So I just want to walk you through the counseling and how to reach me and what are the benefits of counseling and what is the role of student counselor and uh, some other things. So, okay, let's start uh, from what is counseling. And before jumping into the subject, so if you have like any question, you can just, um, uh, you can just write the question in the chat box so that I, I will try my best to answer all those questions. So let's start, what is student counseling? So when we talk about student counseling, it's two-way uh, two, two conversation between a counselor and a student. And it can be one-on-one -on -one interaction between a student and a counselor, counselor and sometimes it can be group counseling. And uh, furthermore, what is the goal of counseling? Uh, a goal of counseling is to support a student with their emotional and psychological and even like social challenges with the goal to improve your quality of life. And also it involves honest and transparent discussion and there will be no judgment and all the conversations are kept confidential. So in the counseling, first a student explains the issues and while counselor listens to them. And in the second phase, counselor shares a perspective reflecting on the experience of others who may have experienced similar situations while also acknowledging unique circumstances of every student. And in many cases, follow-ups are needed to access progress. So these are all about student counseling. So now the question may come, what are the benefits of counseling? Why do we need to take counseling? So in the benefits of counseling, so first benefit can be clarifying our problem. So when a student has some kind of problem, you, when you'll be sharing the problem with your counseling, those problems can be clarified. Means we can have like some kind of solution or we can minimize your problem as a counselor. 
And second is managing anxiety. And similarly, third is assist in coping with the problem. Sometimes we have stress and that leads to anxiety. And when it is severe, that leads to depression. And I don't want any students to be in the depression. So when you have like stress or anxiety, you can see us and we can tackle your problem. And fourth one is improving personal skills. If you go for the counseling, uh, so it also improves your personal skills, uh, building your self-confidence and also exploring opportunities for change. And also you can learn so many things from others' experience because when we counsel, we also uh, explain our own experience to relate your problem so that it will be more clear and your problems are minimized and solved. So these are benefits of counseling. And later, when you will be um, booking an appointment with me, we'll be discussing more about this. So next is, you may have a question, what are, the, what are the role of student counselor? What does student counselor do? So first role is itself counselor. So he helps students, we help students identify their abilities, interests, and the capacities. And second is we can be mediator. We can act as an advocate between you, student, and other department. For example, if you can reach directly to the academic team, I can be the mediator. I can be, as a counselor, I can be the mediator between you and your academic team. So we can be, and counselor also can be like social skill teacher, and also we can be your trusted friend because when you share your confidential things with the counselor, so he, we, keep, we assure you that those, are kept, those things are kept confidential. So these are the role of a student counselor and moving forward, so very important part. So everyone, everyone as a student, everyone has stress, so how to manage so here are general tips to manage the stress so that you can you may not this may not lead you to severe anxiety or the depression first and foremost you are you should think that you are never alone so whenever you have something you can come to us you can visit us at any time if uh, you, you, you can just book an appointment and then we can have a, have a discussion one-on-one -on -one or a group, a group counseling. So you should be always, we, we should be always expressive and open. Don't, don't squeeze the things in yourself. Should be always open. If you have something in you, so you should, you should share that things to your friends or to the counselor, to your teacher, to your family member. That relieves your, you from the problem. So the major important thing is the balance work study and household activities with appropriate planning for example when students when a student from overseas come to the developed country sometimes we fail to make the plan between our study work and the household activities that leads to the stress sometimes you have like your exam is coming and you don't have time for the study and you fail fail your exam and uh, again, you have to retake the test. You don't have your financial things. So for this, you need to have the proper planning. So timetable. So if you do this, your stress can be minimized. And another simple thing is physical care. You need to take care of your health. You can do your exercise, rest, uh, yoga, and meditation. And also you need to sleep well. And... Um, don't uh, stay idle, so don't stay alone. So try connecting with supporting people, supporting people where you can get a lot. For example, you can, you can connect yourself with your teacher, with your friends, with uh, your department, with counselor and all so that like you can share your stuff with them. So, and always do not overthink. Sometimes sometime we make plan, uh, uh, plan uh, for like, uh, what happens after three years? What happens after five years? Don't overthink on that. So you are here to study, first focus on your study. And if you study well, you, you're gonna have a good career and everything goes stepwise, you know? So if, if, you, if, you, if you make too many plans, those plans may not be successful, which leads you towards stress, anxiety, and finally to the depression. And follow a healthy diet. 
And uh, last one is spend time, as I already explained this, spend time with friends and family. So these are the general tips to minimize the stress. So another is, okay, another question maybe, how can you reach me? So you can reach me uh, through email. So email is here. You can also reach me via phone. So phone is on the phone number is on the screen. And another, you can reach me, uh, you, can, you can just book an appointment. I can simply show you how you can book an appointment with me. You can just log in your alpha account and then just log into e-learning. And in, in in e-learning, you see student counseling. So if you click on student counseling, yeah, it takes you to the, this page. And from here, you can just select the date as per your convenience. And after, for example, okay, 21, if you select 21, you can select the time and next. And then you can start filling your details here. And how can we you, you how can we help you? You can just select any one of these that applies to you. And then if you could briefly mention your problem, that will be easy for a counselor counselor to uh, have the information regarding you before he starts counseling. So this is the way to book an appointment with me. So so it can appointment can be in person or virtual. And we, uh, I think Dabi will talk about this. We also have uh, one program, Stay Healthy at School. Um, uh, you, uh, you can also uh, get the, uh, you can also get help from uh, this program. And uh, uh, doctors and counselors are, uh, you, you can get 24, 24 hour service uh, from here. You can just uh, make a call or book an appointment here. Yeah, Dabi will explain more about this. So. Yeah, if you have any questions, just let me know. You already knew like how to book an appointment with me. So yeah, if you have like any any, any questions, if you sometimes if you feel long, uh, some sometimes if you feel alone or like if you have any anything, you can just book an appointment with me. You can just uh, give a call to me. You can just uh, write me an email so that I will try my best to help you on that. So thank you so much. I I feel so happy to be connected and uh, thank you so much. That's amazing, Prakash. Thank you very much. Um, just like, um, just was just reading your presentation, Prakash. Yeah. You are not alone. I think that's a very important yes. point for all students to remember. You are exactly. not alone. We are here for you. So Prakash shared with you, like he has his email address. You can book an appointment also through the website. So we have many different ways for you to connect with us, the Alpha College staff. And Prakash, he can be your main point of contact for any issues you have during your journey. So for any academic or non-academic issue that you may have, if you have like any difficulty, you can talk to Prakash and he will be very happy to discuss with you. Yeah, any so, Yeah. Yeah. Um, just again, to remind everyone, all you have to do to book a meeting with Prakash is come to alphacollege.ca slash slc. And then you under current students, student services, you can find um, academic advising. This will take you to the academic team. Okay, so if any issues that you have in regards to academics, so if you have like, if you missed an exam, if you've missed anything, you can book a meeting with the academic team. All you have to do, select the date, a time, and then you can input your details here. And then you can schedule an event with our academic team. And to book a meeting directly with Prakash, you go through your e-learning portal, okay? You just have to log into your portal and you have the student counseling here. So this is for Prakash. If you wanna talk to, directly to Prakash, you'll find this page here, which is very similar to the previous one. The only difference is that you have to access it through your e-learning portal, okay? So this is only for Alpha College students. Let's say you want to talk with Prakash next Thursday at, at 10 a.m. You just book your meeting by typing your information, okay? 
And also you can select what type of issues you're having. And very important, right, Prakash, is that you can have this meeting either in person or online. Yeah. It depends on what the student wants, right, Prakash? Yeah, it, it, it depends upon you. Uh, you, can, you can either uh, visit me in person, so you can book, just book an appointment and you can write in person or you can just uh, uh, meet me uh, via Zoom. So it can be both. Yeah. And the very important is that both ways, they're all confidential. No information yeah. is shared yeah. and everything remains yeah. between student and the counselor. Yeah, sure. Okay. So again, we have the academic advising for any academic needs that you have. If you want to book a meeting with our academic team, again, current students, student services and academic advising. I know many students need this because we have like the midterms, we have the final exams. Sometimes these students have issues with instructors or they had an issue with an exam. So you can always come to this academic advising tool here on the website. Or if you have like another uh, issue not, not related to academic, you can use the student counseling button on your e-learning, which take you to this page. And in, then you can book a meeting with our counselor Prakash. Okay, now I would like to invite Stephanie from the health insurance company. Stephanie is gonna share a little bit with you guys how you can access the health insurance program that all of the college students have access to, and also the mental health program that Prakash mentioned, the stay, the stay Health at School program. Hey, Stephanie, how are you? I'm well, thank you. Thanks so much for having me join today. Thank you for coming. I'll take it away. Good afternoon, everybody. It's nice to uh, see so many people showing up to this very important orientation. As uh, Davi had introduced me, I'm going to be talking a little bit about the health insurance supports that uh, you have um, while you're here. And I know that there was one comment prior to the start of the orientation about um, how students get their, their health card and uh, you know, how to seek care. So I hope that the presentation will give you a little bit more information about all of that. Um, before I begin, just know that you are automatically enrolled by the college. Uh, so you will automatically get uh, your wallet card when it's available, delivered to you by email. If you have any problems with that whatsoever, you just contact the front desk and they'll make sure that you uh, get the information you need. I do encourage you to um, share your questions or comments in the, the chat box. I will do my best to keep my eye on it to make sure. Um, there was already a question about an eye checkup. An eye checkup is included. It is a limited benefit. I believe it's only up until $100, but an eye exam is available to students uh, through the Stay Healthy or through the uh, Study Canada plan. So hopefully everybody can see my screen okay, and I'm just going to start going. Um, Davi, if for some reason you can't see my screen, let me know, and I'll make sure to uh, adjust. So just to give you an understanding of the plan that we have for you, again, it's called the Study Canada Plan, and it's designed to cover unexpected uh, health emergencies. So we're talking about, um, essentially, we've expected that you've arrived to Canada, you're healthy, you're happy, you're ready to go. But because you're a person and you're a human being, you may find yourself um, sick or injured. And in those situations, you need to see a doctor. And that's essentially what this is for. It is not uh, designed for ongoing care or chronic conditions. It's really for unexpected health emergencies. So uh, one of the great advantages of the plan, of course, is that it can be used worldwide. Um, that means that as long as uh, your coverage is valid and your, um, your coverage is active, you can use this plan if you're going for trips to, you know, bouncing down to the United States, maybe you're going to New York State for um, a little trip or a vacation, or perhaps you're traveling Europe over uh, a longer break, that's fine too. The only place you're not covered is your home country. So keep that in mind that this insurance is inactive while you're in your home country. The most important thing to remember about this plan is that it is supported 24 hours a day, seven days a week by a multilingual assistance team. So we'll tell you more about their role in making sure you get the right care, but just know that there is a phone number on your wallet card that you can call anytime, day or night for guidance and, uh, and advice and information. Again, the coverage summary is pretty, um, it's a pretty great plan. Again, it's designed for unexpected visits to a clinic, hospital, and we also have a really fantastic connection with virtual healthcare, which means you can see a doctor over video chat. Uh, emergency dental care is a part of the policy as well. So this is not for routine checkups or cleanings, but it does cover you if you have 
um, an injury because your face was struck with something and you've broken your teeth, or if you wake up with unexpected dental pain, for example, then there's coverage for that too on the policy. Dental coverage does have a monetary limit, so just keep that in mind as well. Paramedical services are things like physiotherapy or massage therapy or uh, chiropractic care. Now, this is uh, a service that, again, has a monetary limit of $500, um, but, uh, and you will need a referral from an attending physician. So it's designed for uh, your treatment plan or your recovery plan as prescribed by a doctor for an acute illness or injury that you've had while covered on the plan. So just keep in mind that uh, you cannot go straight to a chiropractor and then expect that to be covered. You must first visit a family health physician to get a, um, a referral for that service. Oh, there we go. Another thing to keep in mind when it comes to exclusions is that if you uh, are living with a chronic condition, such as diabetes or Crohn's disease, uh, asthma, things like that, any regular or routine care is not covered by the plan. And if uh, you do have an emergency related to it, for example, if you have an asthma attack and you want to seek um, health care, then just keep in mind that you'll have to um, have been stable at least 90 days prior to the start of your policy in order for that coverage to be valid. Again, routine prescription medications are not covered. So if you take a daily prescription medication, that is not what this plan is designed for, but it will help you with medications that are required um, unexpectedly um, for things like antibiotics and things that are used on a short-term basis. Support and services, this is where the assistance team comes in. So I mentioned this team earlier, again, available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. They do have services in virtually any language. So if English or French is not your first language and you would like support in an additional language, we are happy to help you with that. Um, the Canadian healthcare system can be a little complex for newcomers. So we also provide guidance. So if you give us a call and you don't really know where to go, earlier there was a mention that somebody went to hospital for um, a fever. And that's not always the most appropriate place to go. And um, we do have a number of walk-in clinics where students do not have to pay out of pocket. Sorry about that. I just wanted to um, dampen the sound a little, the background noise a bit. Um, so if you, you are in need to see a doctor and it's not a serious health condition that requires like hospitalization, we do encourage you to use the virtual health platform or our, our many walk-in clinics. The assistance team will be able to direct you to a place where you do not have to put any money down. Uh, and so giving them a call and we can let you know where to go. Uh, and of course, we're, we'll help you with any claim submission after you've seen the doctor. That's an important part of the claims process as well. And of course, provide access to virtual health. So uh, we do have an extensive medical network across Canada, more than 60,000 providers from coast to coast with a really robust network in the GTA. We are a Toronto-based company, so we have lots of great partnerships in this province. And uh, we'll, of course, continue to work uh, on expanding the network as uh, additional clinics pop up in the GTA. The virtual health service, again, is a really excellent option for any students who um, perhaps are not well enough to get up and go to a walk-in clinic, but it's not serious, serious enough to uh, warrant a visit to the hospital. A virtual health appointment is you seeking care from a doctor over a video chat. They have the ability to um, send prescriptions to a local pharmacy if, if that is required, and of course, uh, referrals from paramedical services should you need them. So just a reminder, this is completely cost-free for members. So do call 1-866-883-9787. That is the number for the assistance company. That number is on your wallet card. And that would be a really great way to see a doctor quickly and efficiently. I know that this is kind of a dry topic. So if you've kind of dozed off, I would like you to snap right back into focus here because this is the most important part of our presentation. Uh, if you have a serious illness or injury, so we're talking about a hospitalization or something that requires surgery, or a high level diagnostic like an MRI or a CT scan, or if you're seeking care outside of Canada, it is imperative that you call us within 48 hours. If you do not call us within 48 hours, we uh, will only pay 80% of your eligible claim, which means that uh, you will be responsible for 20%. 
And I might have mentioned this earlier, but the Canadian healthcare system not only is a bit complex in the different modalities that we offer, but it's also incredibly expensive. So a, an average hospital stay is anywhere from $5,000 to $8,000. Uh, $3,000 a night is a good estimate. Um, so if you're going to be paying, so if you were in hospital, for example, for 10 days, uh, your bill is going to be roughly $30,000, and uh, you'll have to pay 20% of that if you don't inform us within 48 hours. So that is a very expensive um, situation to be in. So if you call us as soon as you need medical care, that's a really uh, good routine to get and a really good habit to get into so that if a serious illness or injury pops up, then we are there for you right from the start. If you have any questions, again, I want to encourage you to use the meeting chat and I will make sure to address those. You can also message me privately. The claims process. Uh, once you have sought medical care, you will need to submit a claim, whether you've paid out of pocket for your service or not. It is important that we get the details of your claim so that we can pay the bills. <clears throat> Usually with a claim submission, you would fill out a claim form. The required information, of course, is that you submit to us your policy number, your email address, or contact information. We need to know the dates of service and the reasons for your medical appointment. If you have an injury, it's very important to inform us how and where it happened. So for example, if you have a broken arm, we need to know where you were and what you were doing when you broke your arm. That's important details when you're filling out the claim form. Of course, we need the recommended uh, treatment that you were told to receive. Uh, copies of the invoice or payment receipts, referrals, anything that the doctor has given you is really handy. And then of course, we need to know how we can pay you back. So we generally offer two methods of repayment, either EFT, which is an electronic deposit into your bank account, or a check which uh, will be um, delivered to your home address. So we do need your postal address for that. Again, the assistance team is available 24 seven to make sure that um, you can get the right guidance, whether it's seeking care or submitting your claim. I just got another message in the system here saying, how much do we have to pay for an eye checkup with a health card? So again, the, there is a health uh, an eye exam included in your, um, in your coverage. It's up to $100. So we'll only cover $100 of your, your eye exam. So if your eye exam is $115, then you would pay $15 and the plan would pay $100, for example. The online, the claim submission methods, there are two ways. The first way we'd recommend is completing your claim online. So studyinsured.com slash Alpha Academy. This is a website that we've put together for you that has all of the information about your plan and also an online claim submission tool. And an email, uh, you put the details of the claim in the body of the email, and then you can send it to studentclaims at studyinsured.com. Again, here are the contacts. You might want to consider um, taking a screenshot of this page or quickly putting them in your phone. But these are the direct uh, uh, phone numbers and email addresses for our team. So again, that's the same number that will be on your wallet card, 1-866-883-9787. And if you ever want to get in touch with the claims department specifically, they're available from Monday to Friday, regular office hours, and they can be reached at 1-866-883-9485 or you can email them studentclaims at studyinsured.com. So that's all of the information about the personal health information. I am gonna tell you a little bit more about the Stay Healthy at School program. Prakash um, mentioned that this is another service that's available to you to help support your mental health. So just to give you an understanding of what this service provides, it's completely confidential, voluntary and accessible. And it's designed to offer support to address a variety of issues, both personal or school related, that essentially are interfering with your success or your enjoyment of life. We have uh, three essential um, ways that you can get in touch. There are in-person sessions available. So if you do wanna talk to somebody in person, we can make that arrangement. Of course, Prakash is always on campus and you can always speak to him if you need support in person. Uh, but we also have additional services off campus that we can help you with. Uh, video chat with the counselor is also a very popular option. And last but not least, um, just a simple phone call. So the phone calls are obviously completely toll free as are the in-person sessions and video chats. Um, but you can connect with us anytime, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And again, it's available uh, anywhere in the world. And something I have not mentioned yet is available in more than, one, uh, more than 100 languages. So again, if you're having a hard time describing 
um, you know, the type of stress you're under or you require a specific conversation in a language of your choice, that's completely available to you. When it comes to the counselors themselves, all of them, uh, this is their life's work. Often they are social workers. If not, they are psychotherapists in a related field like psychology or psychiatry. They all have at least five years of postgraduate experience, are in good standing with their regulatory body, and they all uh, come to the table with a solution-focused counseling approach. So really finding out who you are, what your goals are, and walking you through to um, different tools you can employ to make sure that you're getting the very best out of your experience at Alpha. Again, the number of sessions determines on uh, the assessment by the counselor. It's typically three to four sessions uh, per person. So the idea is that you're um, having an initial phone call and a few subsequent phone calls just to follow up and make sure that the tools that you're being provided are working for you or perhaps uh, a little more guidance is needed. If you need early community referral uh, for really long-term or specialized issues, that is of course offered as well. Um, Prakash is also a really good resource for that. And again, the, the choice of counseling is up to the individual. So if you'd like in person, that's great. There's email exchange, phone and video as well. When it comes to the other services that the, um, that the Stay Healthy at School program provides outside of mental health counseling, they also can do some life coaching or wellness coaching. If you're having um, a little bit of money trouble and you're, um, you wanna know how to better balance your budget, financial consultations are available as well, and legal consultations if you are finding um, that you are in disputes with um, you know, landlord and tenant rights, for example, um, your place of living, um, you know, personal um, liability claims, things like that. So just keep in mind that you can also speak to a lawyer, uh, free consultation. So just to give you an understanding of how you connect with the program, there are uh, two ways, the on or three ways technically. Online access, if you go to the website ca.helpwhereyouare.com, and then you enter the company code SHAS, and you will be brought to a homepage that has the Stay Healthy at School logo to give you a bit of brand familiarity. But there is a number of articles that you can read that give you, um, you know, a lot of tips and helpful information on how to uh, lead an active and healthy lifestyle. There's also an instant messaging service directly on that page as well if you click on Live Connect, and that brings you up. And then, of course, there's also the option to um, set up an appointment with a counselor. So you would fill out an intake form, let them know when a good time to call you would be, and then they, uh, they'll call you back and make sure that you get some counseling support in that way. Uh, there's also an app available, so you can download the app at any time. It's available in the App Store. It's called the iConnectU app. So you look up iConnectU in the App Store or Google Play, and then you uh, fill out the information, of course, um, to make sure that you receive the content uh, and have instant access. So again, you look for iConnectU app, click sign up, and when it asks you for the passcode, just type in SHAS, and then you do have the ability to uh, call the service directly from the app. Uh, you can text message, instant message. You can arrange for um, counseling at a later date through the app as well. It has all the same features as the online service. The last way you can connect, and again, I mentioned this before, they're available 24 hours a day, seven days a week by phone. So there should be some posters up and around to remind you that the service is available to you, but you can call anytime, day or night to get immediate on the spot health, mental health care, 1-833-646-1524. So that's immediate in the moment support, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You can also call that phone to book future appointments and it's available in more than 100 languages. And that's it. So I'm going to open up uh, the chat one more time to make sure that Everybody has uh, had an opportunity to get their questions in. Stephanie, um, I did receive a question. Maybe you could just like repeat that one. Is how these students can get access to the list of clinics that they can get access to? Or like, how do they know which clinics they can go? Yeah, that's a great question. So again, you can call the assistance team anytime, day or night, and we'll be able to direct you to the clinic that's in your area. There's also a find a doctor tool on the website. So if you go and I'll put the, um, the website in the uh, chat here, 
www.studyinsured.com slash Alpha Academy Academy. So if you go to that website that I've linked in the chat here, uh, there is a find a doctor tool under the services page. So you can put in a postal code or a city address and enter your policy number and you'll be able to see the clinics in your area. We are contracted with the MCI network of clinics, which is very popular in Toronto, as well as the Apple Tree Clinics. So both of those clinics, um, you'll be able to show your card and not have to pay out of pocket. Um, to get the best uh, service and care, thank you for that. Uh, to get the best service of, and care, uh, you can always um, give us the, a call, right? 24 hours a day, seven days a week, you call the assistance team and we'll be able to find one that is local to you and make sure that they are aware that you're coming and to make sure that the, um, the direct billing arrangement is working flawlessly. Any other questions for? We we had a question about uh, from my student asking how did they receive how how they could receive the health insurance policy. So all these students, as Stephanie mentioned, all these students they are already enrolled in the health insurance program. So if you feel you have not received it yet, you can always contact the front desk team. I'm going to post here the front desk email so you can have access to it. You just have to let them know, hey, I would like to receive my health insurance information. Make sure you inform your student number, okay, so they know who you are and they can send you your um, health insurance policy and the card. That's great. And I just wanted to share the screen quickly to show you the um, Alpha Academy um, website here. So it's pretty easy to navigate. There's going to be a bit of a facelift, so it's going to be even easier to navigate. But under the services here, you can see you can submit a claim right online in this section. It takes a hot second to load just because it's um, it's a more complex form. This is where you can come to submit your claim. And if you want to find a doctor, you can click on the find a doctor tool and you can locate them with these parameters. So you can put in your postal code, what kind of uh, facility you're looking for, how far you're willing to travel. And of course, that your policy number and it will populate a map for you that gives you um, the best understanding of how to get uh, care without having to pay out of pocket. Under the resources section, there's a number of guides as well that can give you more information, including the Stay Healthy at School guide, which will um, remind you how to download the app uh, or visit the online services. That's it. Yeah, and if you don't know how to access this page that Stephanie is showing you, you can always refer to the Alpha College website. So if I can just share my screen quickly here, we have this page here, the health insurance page on the website. Okay, so all you have to do, alphacollege.ca, you have the current students tab, student services and health insurance. So you'll be taken to this page here where you can find all the health insurance information. So to find the page that Stefan just showed you guys, student insurance website. So just click here and then you, again, you will find all the information you need, the policy, the coverage, claim form, how to submit a claim and also how to find a doctor. So again, super easy for you. If you still have questions, you can always contact the Alpha College team and they will be happy to assist you. Any other questions, any other considerations from the students that you'd like to share, you can post this on the chat. You can send it as a private message if you want. Okay, I think we are good for now. Uh, Prakash, do you have any last words for the students before we wrap up this this session? Yeah, I already uh, stated before. So yeah, if you have anything, just don't hesitate to reach me. Uh, what I'll do is I can I can just um, uh, put my email address here so that like you can anytime you can reach me. So yeah, that's also uh, reach me and then don't uh, stay alone. Just uh, try to connect with your friends and family, and we are always with you. So that's all. Thank you, Prakash. Stephanie, any considerations before we finish the session? So the same thing. We're here for you. You're not alone. If you have any medical or mental health concerns, please do reach out. Do not uh, neglect your health. It's a very important element of your overall success. While you're a student at Alpha Academy, you've got a great team of people to make sure that you achieve the dreams that you came to Canada with. Um, and just to note that I did see um, a message from somebody 
uh, referring to a PSW job and uh, the need for a medical test and probably some uh, additional tests for public health. Uh, and in general, the policy is related to your physical health that has been uh, compromised by an illness or injury. So they don't typically do uh, exams or testing that are not required on an emergency basis. But I do encourage you to call the study and chart assistance team for more information on that. Sounds great. I just second okay. Prakash and Stephanie about uh, the mental health. Well, this is important. So again, thank you everyone for joining today. We are very pleased to have all of you. I love the questions and I love that you want to take care of yourself. So again, thank you and enjoy your, the rest of your day. Bye-bye. Have a great time. Good luck on exams, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, guys. Bye.